Uh, great team. There's a reason they're in the tournament. Uh, but uh, as far as we've seen, they like to play fast, which is to our benefit as well. So I guess it's going to be a pretty good matchup for us. Do you like that idea that you know it's going to be a foot race and you guys are well equipped in that regard? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's how we've, uh, that's been our best basketball when we're playing fast and just getting up and down and uh, making plays 94 feet. So, uh, you know, like I said, we like to match up, but uh, obviously they're a great team and it's going to be a challenge for us. I know you guys uh, pushed the reset button going forward yeah. towards the tournament. Can you explain to us a little bit of the adjustments it's been without having Coach Wade there? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we'd like to have them here, but, uh, um, you know, we're kind of figuring it out. Uh, I think uh, we did a poor job in the Florida game of, you know, staying connected, which is something that's been one of our uh, strong points throughout the year, and, you know, things just got away from us, but we can't use Coach Wade not being there as, as an excuse. At the, end of the day, at the end of the day, we're the guys lacing it up, so, um, you know, we're going to do a much better that job, much better job of that. Uh, come Thursday. When you talk about staying connected, is that accountability with each other, reminding people what's happening? <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess uh, you know, staying positive when the chips are down. Uh, we had a we had a big lead uh, at half, and we kind of let it get away from us. So uh, you know, it's adversity. Uh, some calls we probably didn't like, and we kind of got away from each other instead of coming together more. And uh, that's something that. For me, as a leader, I have to do a better job of, uh, you know, seeing that and uh, bringing that up within the game and uh, not letting things get away from us. Is that something that you guys will talk to Coach Bamford about? Is being tighter in that regard, maybe whereas he hasn't had to in the past? Yeah, I mean, we we knew it. Uh, Coach uh, Coach Benford brought it up in uh, in film, and uh, you know, it's just something that we got to do a better job of. Do you just now prepare? Look. Will was great, but this is who we are right now, and this is who we're going to be for the rest of the tournament. Try to focus like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, we've kind of taken on the us against the world mentality, and uh, it should be something that brings us closer together. And I think y'all see that Thursday. As far as the preparation, does, does it fall more on you guys now without Will being around? Well, I wouldn't say that. We have a we have a great coaching staff. Coach Benford does a great job. Coach Hiron, Coach Armstrong. Um, you know, they're going to put us in the best position to to win at the end of the day. So it's a, it's a matter of us executing the game plan. And I think the most important thing is, again, sticking together. Do you feel like some of those distractions of whether Devontae will play, won't play, are kind of behind you now? You guys yeah, play. I would definitely say that. I think it's good to have uh, a little bit more stability than uh, what it's probably been the past couple of days, past, past week or so. So uh, now that that's behind us, I think we can definitely move forward and kind of know what we've got and what we're running with and then Move on from there. It sounds like Cavell had some advice for you guys as far as playing in the NCAA tournament game, the practice schedule, the interviews, everything. How would you kind of sum up what he's said about this experience? Yeah, it's time consuming, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, it's a first time experience for mo everyone pretty much except him. So uh, he just wants us to live in the moment and enjoy it. And uh, hopefully we can take him to another Final Four and uh, even pass that. What about that? You guys know whether you earned it or not, you're going to be a villain. Yeah. And did you get any of that in Nashville? Are you ready for all the questions yeah. coming that are? Yeah, we, we definitely got in Nashville, uh, but at the end of the day, that's what it's going to be. So uh, we could either, you know, uh, fall back from it or embrace it and uh, use it as, use it to our advantage. What about being guard heavy like the team you guys are, and having three of you that can be so versatile? Obviously, yeah. say guards win in March. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I take this backcourt with anybody. Uh, and uh, Marlon's even done a great job. I know you're, the three you were probably talking about was me, Jay, and Trey, but Marlon's doing a great job for us. Darius does a great job when he gets in at the three uh, as part of our bigger lineup. And, uh, you know, guards, I guess guards win in March, but we've got an unbelievable uh, front court too. So I think we've got all the weapons to make a deep run. I think we've got all the weapons to win the whole thing. Have you looked at Yale at all? Yeah, yeah, like we said, uh, they play fast. Uh, I won't be the smartest guy on the court, uh, uh, but um, yeah, great team. They're obviously well coached. Looking at the film, they run great stuff. Uh, they like to get up and down. They score a lot of points. So, uh, and they pass the ball really well. I'm gonna screw up his name. I mean, he, yeah, the NBA prospect. He, right. 
probably flashes on tape, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, great player, uh, very aggressive, uh, makes plays for others. He's pretty much a do-it-all type guy. Looks about 6'7". So, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough matchup, but, uh, you know, we like our chances. You guys thought at all about what the opportunity is? I mean, you were here when it wasn't so. Yeah. You know, like this. Yeah. Is it, is it extra special, I guess? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and on top of that, being from here. Uh, so I have a lot of great things going for me with this program. And uh, I'm just soaking it all in and just taking it day by day. Is it important to learn from Nashville? I mean, can you take things away from what you did or did not do to extend your stuff? Absolutely. I mean, like I said earlier, the biggest thing was not being connected. But, uh, you know, I think they scored maybe 50. <laughs> I want to say coach said 51 points in the second half, so we're not going to win many games like that. Uh, and uh, we've got to do a better job of maintaining leads and uh, not looking at it as being up 10 and, you know, try to get up 20, things like that. So um, hopefully we put ourselves in more positions to be up like that and uh, do better in that situation. It seemed like Trey, um, some of the video that we got, he was really encouraging trying to Trying to get the bench involved. Yeah. Has he really stepped it up even more? Yeah, he's always been a leader for us. Uh, he's been doing a great job, and uh, you know Trey. We know Trey's going to bring it every game, so uh, we try to kind of rally behind him. And and uh, you know he's. I think he's just done a much better job this year, just being more vocal, because he he kind of knows what he's in for, and uh, just happy with the growth he's uh, shown. What about the Nas and just? His first experience on this stage. Yeah, Nas. Well, Nas is a he's a gamer. You know, he's gonna go out there and play. Uh, he's a guy that's, who's uh, he doesn't. He's not as vocal, but he's gonna do everything he can to win. He's gonna make sure that he gets his part of the uh, part of the job done. So, um, you know, he's he's gotten much better these past couple weeks, and uh, you know, we hope he keeps that upward trend. You guys had like a roller coaster season. Kind of explain like what it feels like going towards the tournament this week. Uh, yeah, I think it's been a roller coaster everywhere, but the court. I think uh, you know we're twenty six and six. Like we 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 know that we're able to win a lot of games. Uh, we know we've won pretty much every way you can win. So uh, we're confident when we step on the court. And I think the biggest thing for us is not letting what's going on off the court affect how we play. 